this video is going to be a little bit complicated. Stick with me. Welcome back to FTW Tech. I'm your host, Isaiah, and today I'm going to be going over fan bearings. So when you look at PC case fans, you've got multiple types of bearings and they do different things better than the other bearings. So uh, you've probably seen the words, you know, magnetic levitation, ball bearing, sleeve bearing, uh, fluid dynamic bearing, things like that. So I'm going to go over today what all of those are what bearing you want to do or that you should get the pros and cons of each so including pricing reliability noise levels um value everything so i guess let's get to it i uh i've got to have i gotta really refer to my notes down here on my laptop because i don't know any of the stuff off the top of my head to be clear like i had to do so much research for this specific piece but let's get into it so the tldr or the tldw as i call them because it's a video and not an article so that too long didn't watch instead of didn't read anyways so sleeve bearings are the worst bearing uh followed by ball bearing then fluid dynamic uh tied with corsair's magnetic levitation so those ones are tied with my recommendation the fluid dynamic and the maglev the main differences lie in the noise levels, lifespans, and prices of the bearing options. Um, sleeve bearing fans have mediocre lifespans, can fail without warning, and are quiet at first, but can develop a whirring sound if mounted horizontally, so you want to mount them vertically. Uh, as in, you don't want to mount them on the top or the bottom of your case, but rather in the front of the back. Um, ball bearing fans have longer lifespans, but are both uh, louder in many uh, cases and also more expensive. They can be mounted either vertically or horizontally, and they can operate at higher temperatures than sleeve bearing fans. Uh, fluid dynamic bearing fans have the lowest noise levels and highest performance, so they are a no-brainer if you have a high budget for a PC. They also have the longest lifespan by far uh, out of those ones. I don't know the lifespan for Maglev because it's proprietary to Corsair, but anyways. So like I was saying, magnetic levitation fans are proprietary to Corsair. Uh, and they rely on a new technology that makes them very reliable and high performing. They are very expensive, but I would highly recommend them as they can uh, run at high RPMs and low noise levels all at the same time. So a case fan works by using a rotor that spins uh, on a bearing to displace air. A fan can rotate thousands of times per minute and in each rotation there is much stress being placed on the bearing. Because case fans are supposed to last several years, each fan can rotate hundreds of thousands of times in its lifespan. By the way, shout out to appules.com for providing much of the information for this piece. Um, you know, I will link them in the description, appules.com. There are several popular case fan bearing types. Sleeve ball and fluid dynamic are extremely prevalent bearing types and Corsair's magnetic levitation, I'm just gonna call it maglev from now on, has taken the world by storm recently as well. Uh, the type of bearing impacts the lifespan of the fan and the noise level it generates. Other things to consider with case fans are the orientation of the fan and whether there is any impedance slash obstruction to the motor. There are several key terms to understand. According to Hardware Secrets, quote, in the case of computer fans, the magnet is attached to the blade assembly and this piece has the shaft attached to it. This whole piece is called the rotor. The rotor moves when mounted in the fan frame, also called the stator, end quote. The cheapest fan bearing you will often find is sleeve bearing. The central shaft of the fan is uh, enclosed in a structure that resembles a sleeve, hence the name. Oil is used for lubrication and ease of rotation. The sleeve ensures that the rotor is in the correct position and it also maintains the gap between the rotor and the stator, which I said was the fan frame. Furthermore, the sleeve offers some protection to the shaft. Although it may seem complicated, the sleeve bearing is considered simple compared to other bearings. Thus, sleeve bearing fans uh, are used in many different applications. Due to their simple design, they are actually less likely to break than some other higher performing fan bearings. Uh, they are also rugged, which allows them to be used for industrial applications, and they are quiet. That's quite the list of pros for the cheapest fan bearing out there. They are affordable, simple to manufacture, are quiet, and have a decent lifespan of around 40,000 hours on average. However, they can sometimes develop whirring noises over time when mounted horizontally at the top or bottom of the case. They tend to fail without warning, and they can suffer from immediate failures at temperatures over 70 degrees Celsius, which is not that hot, due to the way the lubrication system is organized. Ball bearing fans are meant to combat several of the downsides to sleeve bearing fans. 
They employ a ring of balls around the shaft to solve the problems of rotor wobble and uneven wear. The bearings, there are multiple in the fan, uh, are off offer reduced friction compared to sleeve designs. Uh, and the springs can assist with any tilt in the fan due to the weight of the rotor. Uh, most fan motors have two bearings separated by springs. If the springs are placed all the way around the shaft, the fan can be used in any orientation, vertical or horizontal, which results in a more reliable design. In general, ball bearing fans are less prone to wear and tear and can operate at higher temperatures than sleeve bearing fans. Ball bearing fans cost more to manufacture than sleeve bearing fans due to their more complex nature, but because of their complexity, they are also less rugged and durable when jostled around. They are also more noisy than sleeve bearing fans and their lubricant system can fail over time as well. Ball bearing fans are actually used also in industrial applications, such as blowers for industrial dryers or in cooling systems of electric components. They average a lifespan of about 60,000 to 75,000 hours longer than sleeve bearing fans. Fluid dynamic bearings are a modified version of sleeve bearings. They use the rotation of the fan to stabilize the fan's chassis and improve lubrication performance, which results in a quiet fan with a long lifespan. Because of their fluid cycling technology, they tend to have the lowest noise level. The lifespan of fluid dynamic bearing fans is an astonishing 100,000 to 300,000 hours. Uh, they can also push the same amount of air or more air than other fan bearings measured in CFM. As you might expect, fluid dynamic bearings are expensive compared to many other fans. Finally, Corsair's magnetic levitation, also known as Maglev or ML, fans rely on magnetic levitation to deal with the friction created by a spinning fan. This technology is relatively new. The fans first launched in 2016. First launched in 2016. They tend to run on the expensive side, with a three-pack of ML120s costing roughly $130. The ML120 fans are quite reliable, and they also have good performance. Uh, they also can come in ML140s, I believe. Uh, I think those are the only sizes, but I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure, though. Um, yeah, so these fans are proprietary from Corsair, so we probably won't see many companies using them anytime soon. According to The Verge, yes, that, that Verge, uh, the ML series magnetically suspends the fan blades away from the central bearing of the motor, resulting in a dramatically quieter and more reliable fan, even at higher speeds. The fan blades make almost no physical contact with any other parts of the casing, allowing for rotation up to 2400 RPM at 37 decibels of noise." End quote. In, it can be difficult to choose the best case fans because the sizes and specifications such as CFM, RPM, DBA, often blur together, and they are often overlooked in the excitement of building a PC. However, you can't run a higher power consumption GPU with poor airflow without it throttling. So make sure you get some decent fans and a decent case, of course. Um, on a budget, get the Arctic P12 or really any fan from Arctic, they're all pretty good. Um, the, the Bionic series fans, they're also pretty good. Um, if you have more money to spend, get the Noctua NF A12 by 25. If you must have RGB, try the Corsair ML120s or ML140s. The bigger the fan, the less noise it produces, generally speaking. So if you can go bigger, go bigger. That's it for this video. Um, may have been a slightly shorter one, um, but I still think it was informative. Hopefully you guys learned a lot today. Uh, let me know if you like the shorter videos or if you like longer videos. Um, I definitely want to hear what you have to say. Any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Any thoughts, any feedback on how I can make my videos better. Uh, make sure you leave those down in the comments. I'm sorry if you heard my dog barking earlier. Not sure if I'm going to edit all of that out or some of that out. We'll see how that goes. But my dog can be pretty annoying sometimes with the barking. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. That was uh, Isaiah from FTW Tech. And yes, yeah, see you guys.